Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. As you can see guys, we are advancing pretty well now with this challenge. We started to colonize, not colonize, we terraforming Mars. And we also know what this Metatron does. It generates some kind of ion storms, which knocks out a couple of buildings in roughly an area of a dome so we got one here and another one here and basically i think we are we are fine with it ultimately because we have enough uh, reserves and redundant system to survive that because we have to uh, because we had a lot of uh, natural disasters like dust storms and cold waves so currently i would say we are we are pretty good and now i i know what to do because i realized this uh mohol mine oh and of course we built that this one and uh, and this is producing a lot of uh, rare metals, yeah, and we don't need that much. We have two uh, electronics factory which consumes four, and we don't need that uh, that many. So, what we will do? We will sell this uh, rare metals, and from the money we can uh, do more missions for terraforming Mars. That's the idea and I want to check if uh, we can capture ice asteroids. So we are sending that expedition immediately to increase the water. Also I may not said in the previous one but I I started to produce seed crops all in our farms so we can start uh, with the uh, fourth value but the vegetation will take a long time i'm sure of that and we have unemployed here so what we need to do is to put down another research lab and maybe a park Oh, yeah, and because this thing is throwing us anomalies from time to time. We have three. Oh, there's two. Okay, we will scan those. We have a food shortage. Yeah, because we have a dome where we're killing off uh, rebels or renegades. Okay, now I have to decide where to expand because our domes are slowly getting full. So that's another thing we have to worry about. Oh, not, not worry about, but think of it. Okay, I think we can manage some kind of... Yeah, we should put down... We should put down a landing pad here. Uneven terrain. Okay. We can deal with that. And we have a drone assembler. We don't need this many workers here. I'd rather have them in the research lab. So, we need like 30 prefabs.
Okay, and this is working as well. Great. Yeah, we are slowly running out of fuel. Because uh, we do a lot of missions. So what are these anomalies? Oh, we should check on the research. Okay, we have a lot of things and I might reconsider this because we should focus on terraforming more because it is a long process, especially with the the vegetation anomaly analyzed anomaly analyzed okay that was a good one what research complete why didn't get enough power? Cold wave approaching. We have an incoming cold wave, but I think we are fine and our reserves one soul one power but the cold wave should be a little bit shorter because of this a colonist has died okay it was a renegade so that's fine okay guys we have a few problems because this cold wave is really hitting us because we built a lot of stuff. But we are building already a fusion reactor here. So that will solve our problems. But maybe uh, the colonists will experience some discomfort. Uh, we have an iron storm coming. Uh, two iron storm in fact because we expecting to and the metatron has this gathering uh, storm message so let's check that one out revel in the passing of the great storm emerge victorious remade and stronger this is the gift of metatron the messenger the messenger this is to increase the strain on us even further it's about to unleash a massive wave of iron storm clouds we, as always, have to endure it. The next minute we send out a larger number of Iron Storm Cubs. Yeah, I... I suspected that. That we will have more and more uh, Iron Storms. Okay. Just 40, so... I will close off these factories. Because they cost a lot of energy. Oh, and it knocked out this fusion reactor. That means we have to build another one. Let's build one there. And we have an anomaly. So we will have some power problems 
very soon, but we can solve that very soon as well. This is like the highest priority to build. Come on. The cold wave, however, only lasts for two souls and 11 days. That's much, much better than... Uh, maybe it started like three souls, but that's uh, better than the five, six souls cold waves. Come on, bring an electronics there and build it. Colonist has died. Okay. Upgrade with eternal fusion. And we will solve the power problem. Research complete. Come on, finish that upgrade. Okay, good. Resources also, are polymer lying. production it's, it's still good. Okay, we solved the problem. We can even reopen these factories. Colonist has died. Okay, every problem solved. So we can go on. Iron Storm. I think having another atomic accumulator also a good idea. Okay, so I might be postponed the expansion until we defeat the Meta Metatron. No seed crops. There should be. Did they eat it? I hope not. No workers. Ah, I think uh, we killed a lot of renegades. Well, this one's working and it's producing enough. That's not bad. But we could do better, I think. Don't need a nuclear terraforming. Okay, we can... We can go with these. I don't think we really need... Well, what we really need is the upgrade for the terraforming buildings. Also, I want to do this Moxie 2.0.
because we had another message and now Moxis cost polymers uh, as well to build. Yeah. We had a more squeak, but that's fine. And I figured out why these uh, needed more power. Because we started to raise the atmosphere and that has a penalty for solar panels. But it is increasing uh, the wind turbines production. So I think we will switch to wind turbines here. Maybe I should do that right now. Because it's frozen. Okay, but the cold wave is almost over. Anomaly found. Whoa. Okay, we had some anomalies. Okay, okay. I thought all of them was uh, Iron Storm. A colonist has died. Well, these Iron Storm should be moving away, right? Anomaly found. Okay, guys, we might have a slight problem here because we got a lot. Oh, oh man. Uh, a drone controller is down. So, what we need. We need a drone controller there. And the great problem that we have a great dust storm incoming. That means we have to fix pipes and, and stuff. Okay. That means we need more drone controllers. Why? Let's build two of them. And luckily we have uh, extra drones. Oh, now there's nothing there. Okay. Indeed we need these two. In fact, That's not a problem there. I hope this will affect the dust storm uh, time. No, it's still pretty long. Okay, let's 
go for these anomalies before they disappear. Yeah, we have a couple of them. Come on, build it. Go there. Anomaly analyzed. Okay. message from the Metatron, so let's check it out. We have endured a lot more than Metatron expected from a young, inexperienced species like ours. But endurance is not enough. It wants more. It wants us to grow, to become even better. Its final task for us is to make a mark of progress and effing or FPG of our readiness evolve an example uh, for the rest of our species to follow but if we fail to do this within a reasonable time we would fail the project morphos tech has become available once took the project morphos wonder within 20 souls to successfully complete the mystery oh Research damn complete. oh but we got the project morphos Okay, now that's changed things a lot, in fact. If we don't have to research that. Oh, 300. Hmm. Well, I have to, I have to build it here. Because we don't have uh, enough drone here, and we have a little bit of more electronics here. However, that means... We have to boost up this production, uh, even switch this off. Yeah, we have Yeah, I think I, I wait for the Iron Storm to pass and then start uh, the project Because we need uh, we, we need our drones back And I'm considering uh, to buy electronics if there will be no other way. Anomaly analyzed. Oh, that looking good. Oh, can't land, of course, dust storm. A colonist has died. There was a small Anomaly leak there. Analyzed. 
That's not a problem. I won't scan that because a little bit of research boost would be nice. Yeah, because I, I started to do something else because we research the planetary projects and we have a lot of planetary projects and we have projects that will give us new technologies. However, if we don't have any more new technologies, which we almost there, then it means it will give us a, a, a big amount of research points. And the big amount of research points will be very handy for these uh, terraforming uh, researches. So I'm aim to do that. Okay. That's still working. Oh, we have a leak there. Okay, but we are at the final test of the Metatron. So once these ion storms move away, uh, we will be fine. production is slowly increasing yeah I think I will buy electronics part with the rocket as much as we can uh, carry or buy Okay, let's Wow That's eye watering Shocky a 30 year old boy living in the colony has an image in a friend called Shoki. Troubling is, it seems that his new friend knows about quantum physics a lot more than his age suggests. Okay, let's. Let's do this. Usually when we have the correct uh, commander specialization, that that usually turning out good for us. Okay, nine hours. Okay, we're getting back control.
Just have to fix that. I don't know. Maybe we should put uh, a dream reality. Anomaly found. Okay, let's go and analyze the anomalies. And let's start building the project Morpheus. Right there. And we do need concrete. Okay, where is the leak? It's a power leak. Research complete. Okay, no more leaks and only one so six hours remaining. Yeah, this was the right call because of the 400 metals. We have plenty of metals here. Oh, and I can uh, remove the uh, depot there. A colonist has died. The electronics is. What is worries me? Okay, we have enough reserves. I don't care about the pipes anymore. Yeah, we are slowly losing atmosphere. But that's why I built the third one here. Toxic rains can now be expected. Oh, great. Now, maybe the dust storms will be less severe. I'm still worried about the electronic parts. I think we should go all in. We 
because I want to beat the Metatron's challenge and, and get over with the mystery. Also, I think we should start building rockets as well. Well, those require a lot of electronics parts, so maybe not just yet. Okay, so in theory, we can produce a hundred electronics parts in four souls. And that should be enough. Considering what we currently have and what we are getting right now. Shocky. Learning on your professional expertise, you have managed to convince Matthew that Shocky doesn't exist and in time he stopped talking about it. He grew up as a wonderful young man fully dedicated uh, to science. However, the mystic influence of Shocky somehow gifted him with an insight far beyond the normal people. Matthew Gore has grown up as a genius scientist. We could have increased our research, but uh, we don't really need that anymore. Resources are low. We have a food shortage. Okay, but that's a renegade. He can starve. Build it up with fuel so we can send it back to Earth and this can land. Okay, I think I think I should stop the building process. And we wait like five souls, then we restart it. Hopefully we will have enough uh, electronics parts. Here's an interesting thing. The Metatron said he had one final challenge for us, and that's it. And I was hoping that we have a time limit, so we have to construct that uh, dream reality, and that would be it. But still, we have Ion Storms incoming. And how interesting that a cold wave is also incoming. So I decided to continue the build up. Because the sooner we can finish it is the better for us. Maybe then the ion storms will be cancelled or we have to endure these two. But that would be it. Also at least we have a cold wave. And... Cold waves doesn't affect us anymore because we have a lot of excess power. We have, yeah, if we double everything uh, power consumption wise, we are still pretty good. Okay, I think we have done it. I wonder if the Metatron always asks for this wonder. Uh, if you know, please comment down below. I, I would like to know if this is the this is a fixed uh, wonder or or it picks randomly one wonder. Well, this this is the one which goes well with the story, I think. Research complete. A colonist has died. The messenger of the stars vanishes as abruptly as it had arrived. We 
are left alone, still shaken by the incredible events we've just survived. But the gift of Metatron burns deeply inside each and every one of us. The realization of our inner strength and incredible potential. The alien megastructure is gone without an explanation for the goals of its mission no more than it already told us. We are still clueless about the nature of the cosmos that awaits us beyond the cradle of our solar system. Would it be really that deadly and unwelcoming uh, as the megalith warned? What's really out there? Probably this is just another devious trick for, of the artifact and its mysterious creators to show us the potential for expansion and to plant the seed of curiosity inside of us. One, uh, one could say that human, humankind didn't need any of the challenges and gifts of Metatron, that we were strong and inquisitive enough uh, on our own. But it's true that now our craving uh, for exploration and expansion has been fueled even more. The mystery is over, in a new technology orbital engineering. Okay, and now we managed to avoid those last two ion storms. The cold wave is here, it doesn't really affect us. So, all in all, I think this is a very good point, uh, a very good place to end this episode here. If you enjoyed it, uh, please consider to give uh, the video a like, and if you really liked it, consider to press the subscribe button. Uh, thank you for watching, I see you in the next one. Bye!